Hi, welcome to my video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your PS5 controller in the Dual Sense. I'm going to show you how to update that. So basically, how you update it is you're going to use Proton on on your Steam client. Okay. So first of all, you want to download the the firmware. So the the I'll I'll put this in the in the description of the video. You know, you want to download this this program right here so just download it okay and you'll just see you'll see they say update I'll say download just download the, that little piece of software and then once that's downloaded you want to go to add a game and put add a non steam game so you, <coughs> excuse me um, just give me a second here uh, coffee's ready okay Got my coffee. Let's continue this. So you want to go to add add a add a game and click add non. <coughs> excuse me. Add a non uh, a non Steam game and then sometimes Steam will freeze like this. I don't know why. It just does that. So just wait a moment here till it unfreezes. I don't know why it does that. Does that on my other computer as well. Okay, so we're gonna browse here. And you wanna go to uh, download. And basically you're gonna, where you download the, the, the firmware updater installer just double click that, okay? You'll see that is checked. And then put add the selected program. And to find on the list, you just type capital FW. So the twice, because I have it on my other computer as well. So anyways, uh, I could just stream that. But anyways, I'll, I, I can't stream it because it's it's a software, it's on the other piece. Anyways, I will just, uh, so you just hit play, okay? Oh, before you hit play, you gotta go to properties and then go to compatibility and you're forced to use Proton. Make sure that this, and then the properties, go to compatibility and force to use, uh, you know, Proton. So let's use Proton, click play. And it should load up the launcher of the program. Let's get a load of some tools here to get the thing working on Linux. While I was doing that, I'm gonna plug in my PS5 controller to this PC. It was connected to the other one. So now it's plugged in. Um, also, uh, keep in mind that you probably wanna disable your controller. So, uh, let's, I'm just gonna go here, just give me a second. Okay, so I, don't like to show my settings in my screencast. So, um, because, just because, you know, there was some personal information in there. So I basically, where you when you go to your settings on Steam Client, you gotta go to controller, and this where it says PlayStation controller, just disable it, like, or put not enable. Just make sure it's not enabled, because you want, you want the firmware to grab the controller, not Steam. Because if it's enabled on Steam, it's not going to connect to the, the program. You know what I mean? So just make sure that it's not enabled. So launch the application. It's going to actually install it. Like the first time, it will do that. But the second time, it will ask to repair it or modify it or whatever. And you just put agree to the license. You want to install it. Just put install. And then... Make sure to launch the program because you got you want to launch it. So it'll see here a controller is is pretty much uh, charged. So they say update available. So you just hit click update, and it'll, that's how you update your controller firmware. It's very that simple.
It's a program made for, for Windows, but it works on Linux. As you can see right here, that's how I do it. You can run it with just straight up Wine, but I do with, I just do everything through through uh, Steam because it, it has a really good built-in. Like Proton is basically Wine. It actually runs things pretty well. So that's how I run, uh, before I used to run uh, the Battle.net client. You can run World of Warcraft on on like throughout that way is if you want to run World of Warcraft on Linux, that's one way of doing it. So, so it's updating the firmware. So it's good to update your controller firmware. Just, just, I don't know, it's just really good. I always keep my stuff updated. When it comes to all my hardware, if I have a program to update it and it runs on Linux, sure, I'll, I'll update the firmware to the latest. As long as it doesn't inject any AI into my stuff, I'll, I'll use it, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't want that AI stuff in my, my hardware. Keep that out of it. To me, AI is like malware. I don't want that stuff. So, there you go, shit's done. We'll wait till it says it's done. There, wireless controller firmware update is complete. There you go. That's how you do it, guys. So, uh, if anybody was wondering how to update your firmware, probably no, most people don't even do it, but that it you don't need to, go, you don't need window, you don't need to depend on Windows. You can just do it all on Linux. So that's how I, update my firmware that's how i do it on windows but that's how i do it on linux you just run it through uh i updated my i have two ps5 controllers i updated the other one on my b-link so now like it didn't want to charge good so i had to update the the firmware and that happened in the past too with that controller like it wouldn't charge even though like i have steam clothes it's just just it would charge a little bit then it would stop charging but when i updated the firmware it now it's charging all the time, so I don't know. It, that control is funky, but this one here seems to be working pretty good. It's fully charged. Um, yeah, it's working good. Anyway, guys, I know I'm just ranting right now, so yeah, that's how you do it. Cheers.